Video tutorial 21 sees us sewing on our bunny's ears. Um, you'll really start to see it take shape in this um, in this video. Um, so let's read the instructions and see what we need to do. Um, it says to pin the ears around 13 rounds back, count the rings from the magic circle of the nose. They need to be around four stitches apart and along, along the same row of stitches so they are level. So um, that's an indication so that you can get your bunny looking like our bunny. If you want to decide your own position, just pop the ears on the top of the head and pin them and have a look and see what you think to your bunny. So you can do them differently. We just give you that guideline in case you want your bunny to look like ours. So we have, here we have our bunny and then we have those cute ears. Look at those. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to count um, the instructions. So it's 13 rounds back. So we've got, start here with one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So this is roughly the round that it suggests. And four stitches apart, each one of those, can you see the, the V? And then they're the next V, and they're the next V, and the next V. Each one of those is a stitch, so we're saying around four stitches apart. Um, so I'm going to pin one around 13, and that will just give us an idea. So I'm going to pop it on the head, and then I'm going to put a couple of pins in. Put more pins in if you need to, because if you don't put enough in, or if the little light pins you could find them just falling off. So I'm going to stick a couple of pins to hold it. I'm trying not to pin right around the base because that's where I'll need to get my stitches in. Now these are nice, big, sturdy pins. Um, so I'll, I'll probably get away with a couple, but if you're using quite little thin pins, you may need three or four to hold it in place. So we'll have a look, that looks quite cute. So if we're looking at four stitches apart, Let's have a look. We're looking at leaving a gap of four. So one, two, three, four, maybe around there. And it says to keep them on the same round. So what we want is for both the ears to be resting on the same row. So we don't want it here or further back. It's just so they're quite level. So you can see we've about four stitches in the middle there. But honestly, it's where you think the ears look the best. So I'm going to pop it in. But we just always try and help giving really clear instructions how we've done ours because then if you want to get exactly the same look you can achieve that quite easily. Right, so that's how he is pinned. Do we like those? We'll zoom out a little bit so we can see Bunny a little better. Do we like that? Does that look cute? Let's look at it. Now look at it from the side as well to see if it looks good from all angles and see if they look like they're on the same round or the same row. You just want them nice and even. That looks quite level to me. Do they look cute? I think they look quite cute. Take them off and put them on as many times as you need to. It doesn't matter. You just need to get your bunny looking how you like it. So that looks quite good to me, I think. We could put them a little bit closer together. Or we could separate them a bit more. They look quite even to me and on the same round. So let's start sewing them on. So what I'm going to do is thread the thread that we left when we fastened off the ear. Instruction said to leave a strand and that it's going to come in really handy because we're going to use it to sew our bunny on. Our bunny ears on. <laughs> I'll just thread my needle. Alright, so here we go. So we're going to use a similar technique that we did before. So I'm going to be going into one stitch on each. And I'll zoom in again just so you can see it a little bit closer. There we are. So I'm going to go in here right next to where the thread is. Again, we're keeping the thread close. And now when I go into the ear, I'm not going to go in over here or over here. I'm going to go in exactly opposite and just get my needle around a little stitch. It might not be exactly stitch because we have sewn this up. But if you're looking at just 
that's a little bit more awkward because we sewed up there. So now I'm going to go, going to go back in there. So I'm going level. I'm always pretty much going level. So my thread's there, so I'm going to go up there and do a stitch. Keeping it level, and that just keeps your stitches very small and neat so that you don't really see them. And then again, every few stitches, we'll just gently gather, but not so much that it pulls so tight that it's puckering. So we're doing a stitch there like that. On the head. And then another stitch level on the ear. Pull it tight. And then... Where are we now? Are we on the ear? That's it. So I'm going back in there. So one of each. And then just gently pull every two or three stitches. And I'll put one on here. So we're just going all the way around. Keeping the stitches level. And then what I would do, once you finish sewing this ear on, um, have another look at where your position is for the other one. Because occasionally it may have shuffled up a little bit, gone a touch further back or a bit further forward. So we just want to have another look at the ear when we've done this one to make sure they're still appear level. If they don't, you can still move your other one because it's just pinned. So doing a stitch on each. Gently pull in, just keeping them close together and keep your stitches quite close together, don't leave big gaps between them because you want it nice and firm. And so if it's for a youngster, the same as with the arms, go around twice. So that feels quite secure. Let's take our pins out and double check it before we fasten off. So if we found it's a bit loose or we weren't quite happy with it or we'd left a gap, and we need to put an extra few stitches in, we can do that. So that feels pretty secure. It's quite tight, there's no big gaps. So that looks pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do is go back down the same hole I've just come out of, like we did before. Back up a couple of centimetres away. Oop! <laughs> I've lost my thread, look. Let's just re-thread that. Doesn't want to thread. So fluffy. <laughs> right. Thread through. If you're struggling, you can also trim the end because if it gets a little bit jaggy, you can't always get it thread. There we go. Oops. <laughs> so we're going to go back through the same hole, away a few cent a couple of centimetres away. Come up through the hole again, then go back down the same hole and back up somewhere else. I'll just do that a couple of times. Pull it securely and then remember we pull it taut and snip it like so. So that's our ear neatly sewn on. So let's have a look. Is our other one still level? Actually, that does that look a little bit further back? I think that one needs to be further back now. So we'll just take the pins out and move it just to make sure we're happy with it because it does sometimes shuffle a little bit when you sew in. This is how you get a nice, nice finish by just this attention to detail, making sure the level, double checking it before you sew it on. And it's the difference between a bunny that's um, a little bit higgledy piggledy, but does give them character, or one that looks really neat and tidy. Look at that with the little arms we sew, sewed on last time. So the other ear is all ready to go. So I'm going to sew the other ear on. So sew both of your ears on. And then we will come back to you and start looking at the next part.